Hey, Lisa. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the boring stuff first, which is hair. So I did buy the Kerastase um, hair set. I tried the magic serum in the last sale. I didn't think it really did any magic, um, but I was more interested in the, I think it's a full size um, oil and um, also the cream. So I just ended up buying the set. I remember you told me that Nancy said, you know, ever since Kerastase was bought by L'Oreal, it's not that great, but I've been always interested in the oil anyway. So I'm like, whatever, I don't wanna pick it up. So um, I've actually dedicated a little bit more, more, I would say focus on hair care because I can tell that it's thinning right here. So um, anyways, yeah, I, I'm gonna try this. And then because I'm putting oil in my hair now in the scalp for a scalp help, I end up buying the Briogeo charcoal. Um, it's supposed to be really good. And the full size, um, shampoo and then it comes with you know a massaging brush so i was like why not so i got this i'm pretty excited to try it even though right now my hair is a hot mess so i'm not really sure when i'm going to use it now uh i got this amica um brooklyn blog this is a repurchase i really do like it i'm not super impressed with amica products i've tried quite a few but i did like this so i use it when i use either my dyson or my uh, hot tools like that kind of all-in-one volumizing hairbrush thing so I did like it. So this is a repurchase. And then these are also repurchases. The so Olaplex number nine hair serum, and then the Olaplex number six bond smoother. It's like a styling treatment. I'm interested to see how this compares to the Kerastas one. So, I mean, now I can tell. Um, I also bought a travel size of this. I actually really like this leave-in um, conditioner. Uh, I bought the full size one in last, I think the spring VIB, and I really like it. I use it after every wash now. And so now I just brought a smaller one so I can take it with me. But I did pick up the birthday gift and I've heard the Away Leave-In Detangler Conditioner is also really good. So I'm interested to see how that one works out. And then from a samples, I got the Amica Nourishing Mask. And uh, this really called to me because my hair is so brittle now. Um, so yeah, I got some samples, we'll see how things work. Uh, after my consultation with the colorist yesterday, she recommended that I get the K18, which I had already talked to you about, and she also recommended the K18 hair oil. So I've got to, um, this kind of, I have a small like routine that I have to do this morning and then Monday morning before I go see her on Tuesday morning to color my hair. So I luckily got these under the sale, kind of hoping that it will work. Not sure how it will work against Olaplex, but I've heard it's really good. So I picked these up too. So from a hair standpoint, that's what I got. All right, so then let's talk about skincare. Um, I actually did pick this up, um, the Kate Somerville. I just wanted something different. Um, so I actually already started using it. It's a retinol Vita C power serum, but it really is meant to be done at night. So I started using it. I like the texture. Um, We'll see how it works. And then I also got the Eradicate Daily Foaming Cleanser. Um, this is something I bought because I don't know if you follow her, Pillow Talk Derm or Dr. Shireen Idris. Uh, she recommended these specifically for the sebaceous filaments. So even though I steam my face and occasionally use BHAs, I still get those like pesky hairs and it's just, I don't know, it really just bothers me. So especially when I look up close, and so she recommended this to put on your nose, so that's why I bought it. And luckily, it finally uh, came back in stock, so I was able to snag it. So from a skincare perspective, that's all I bought. Um, all right, now let's go into eyes. So I did pick up the Laura Mercier. I actually really love her caviar sticks. Um, Amethyst is probably my favorite, but I wanted something a little bit like lighter. So I'll, I'll, I'll open these right now. They're like the smaller version, which is great. Um, so it comes with amethyst, which is like a deeper purple. It comes with strapless, and then it comes with au naturel. So I remember you saying that, I think because of your lids, these don't really stay on. These stay on really well for me. Um, it makes it really easy. So amethyst is like this. I just, I just really love it. People actually say it looks really good when I wear it and nobody compliments me on my makeup, like, ever. 
Um, so that's amethyst. Ooh, this is pretty. This one is strapless. You can see that? I like it because it's not so purpley. It's a little bit lighter. Um, and then this one is Au Naturel. Yeah, you really can't see this one, like, but at all. So, I guess we'll see. I guess it came in a three, so I um, guess I'll try these. So that was in the Laura Mercier. I think she had two different caviar sets, but this one is the Cosmic Stars. Mm, just not doing well. I actually, so it's Amethyst, Strapless, and Au Naturel, but I really like the Strapless, so we'll see. And from an eye perspective, I also got the Armani one. I was looking at this one at the last sale and I didn't get it, or maybe I did and I returned it. Can't quite remember, but it was a gold copper. This one is called Cashew. Um, it looked like a, a, a matte, really easy to wear every day. I'm a little bit nervous about the, the tint, so let me go take a look. Um, so it looks like this. Ugh, it looks a little cool toned, and I don't really look very good in cool tone, but it's supposed to be. Oh, I do like it though. Um, I heard it's easy to blend. Oh yeah, it's really pigmented. Oh, I kind of really like it. We'll see how that one is. So that one is 22M Cashew. Get my little towel here. Oh, I'm excited to try this one. Okay. All right. So from my perspective, that's really all I got in this sale. I just really wanted something really easy. Okay. Um, the next one is, um, I got a setting spray. This is a repurchase. I actually really love her setting spray. Um, so this is the Charlotte Tilbury one. And then I also got, based on your recommendation, uh, it's the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer. Um, yeah, I really am excited about this. I don't follow a whole lot of blogs anymore, but one that I do follow is Beauty Lookbook. She does a lot of higher end. She's also Asian and um, really liked all the swatches she's done. She said it is the best concealer that she has ever used. So um, based on the shade finder, I did N4, which I think is the right shade. So I'm excited to try it though. This is the, what it looks like. Let's see. Ooh, I really, it's really pigmented. You definitely don't need a lot. Ooh, I'm excited to try it. So that is the uh, Natasha Denona based on your recommendation. All right. Now, when it comes to uh, blush, don't need any more, still bought some. Um, I'm really excited about this one. It's the Say, it's warm terracotta. Um, I just really like loving the browns. So it looks like this, let's see. Ooh, that's really pretty. I like that it's really, like I think, kind of instead of your my lips but better, your cheeks but better kind of look. Oh, I really like that one. This is the Warm Terracotta, I say. And then I love the Dior Rosy Glow. I have it in Rosewood. I love it. Um, so I got the one, it's called Mahogany. I'm a little bit worried that it might be a little bit dark, but this is what it looks like. And let's see how it swatches. Let me put on. Let me put it on because I'm really excited about this one. Okay. Ooh, that is pretty. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, yeah, yeah, love it. Need it in my life. Super excited about it. And then this one, I just, I love NARS. So I got the Lara NARS Dolce Vita. Oh, love it. Oh my God, I love it. Let me grab my other brush here for creams. Hmm. 
minus my melasma. I really do like it. Oh my God, I just love blushes. I love both of them. So this is the Dior, this is the NARS. And I'm going to keep both. So, okay, I just might want to put these down here with my other blushes, which I own so many of, which is ridiculous. Here. Okay, my concealer. Right here. Okay. All right. Now the next one is going to be. Uh, I got the foundation brush. I I really like this foundation brush. Um, I saw it at the store. It's the Hourglass one. It's the Hourglass Soft Glow Foundation Brush. I actually got this brush. It looks like this. I like that it's like slanted. It blends really well. Um, I actually got this because I got the Westman Atelier um, Clean Glow Trio. So the, she has two colors. One is that biscuit color that I tried last sale. It's like the cool toned beige to contour, which I never could do. And so I was like, forget it. I can't contour anymore. I'm gonna buy the truffle, which is a shade darker and just use it as a um, contouring. Now I do have the Tom Ford um, browser, which you recommended and I love, um, but I wanted like a cream one for like the winter months just because um, I, I got the Say and the medium is just too dark. I, I don't, even in the summertime, I couldn't, I couldn't wear it. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try the Westman one. And I, I like that it's a smaller um, stick, A, for traveling, and B, it's just easier to apply. Whereas the same one, because it's big and the, the brush is like this, I just felt like it just took up a lot of my face. So I will say I already opened this and tried it. I, I love the truffle. It looks like this. It's, um, I already tried it. And I loved it so much that I ended up buying the full size. So now I have one, but this is the truffle. It comes with, um, this is a highlighter. Let's see that. I like the like bronzy, kind of like bronzy glow. I already tried this. And then it comes with, uh, it's called Brulee. And this one is the blush. It's called Doo D-O-U, D-O-U. Isn't that pretty? Ugh. It, it just called me Lisa. I, I, I needed it. When I tell Chris, I said, it's the missing link in my life. Which he then just rolls his eyes and just keeps, keeps it moving. All right, so you'll see here, I actually saw an influencer. She actually recommended the uh, Westman Atelier Contour. And so it blends out really easily. And let's see how this one does. Yeah, this one does too. I just really like this brush. I feel like some brushes um, just completely takes away your color. And so I really like this one. I'm really glad I, I got it, even though I don't probably need it, but well, maybe I do. So anyway, got the full size version. Really excited about this one. Okay, put this in my contour. Let me just put these away real quick. Drop them off back over here. This is Brulee, it's my highlighter. And then here is my blush. Okay. So, as if I need any more lip products. Anyway, I, I bought some. So, based on your recommendation, I finally just ended up buying the Clinique. I had this black honey like a long time ago. And you know what? Just got influenced by you. So, I think it's just be an easy, quick lip balm. Stick it in my purse always have some kind of color. I think it would just be easy. So, oh shit. Okay, there is that. Um, oh, I got the Dior Addict um, Lip Maximizer. I have this in Rosewood already. I got the Intense Mauve. My aunt had this, loved the color. I think it, the mauve just looks really nice. I can wear it with a lot with grays, with browns, with navy. But I'll show you. It was a tie between this and the YSL one. And I was like, they're too similar, in my opinion, to buy both. But this one had um, bigger pigment than the YSL. So 
I got this one. And I already have it in rosewood, which I love. So I got this. Um, I got the Ilya Balmy Tint Hydrating Balm. Uh, this is in Memoir. I really think this is pretty too. Oh, it's like this. And I actually got this um, to go with this. So this was kind of new, it's called In Beauty. I was really specifically looking for this deeper color to go on top of it. So let's open this up and take a look. I'm so glad that balms are in. I'm here for it. So it comes with these four colors. Um, but the one that I was really looking for was this like deeper. So I want to put that memoir on and then see what that looks like. Oh yeah, it kind of just, in ooh, kind of just intensifies it. I really like it. So I got this, it's the four different colors. Never heard of them, but they got good reviews on Sephora for what it's worth. So here's that. And then I got, uh, this is the lip cheat. This is the iconic nude. I think that's what I got. Yep, Iconic Nude. I actually really love this. This is a repurchase. Um, I think it goes with so many nude lipsticks. So, love the formula. Repurchase. And then, I did get the Summer Friday. I've been interested in this one, specifically the Vanilla Beige. Um, but I wanted something a little bit darker. So, I got this in Brown Sugar. Let's take a look at this. So, here is this one. You can tell I love like the whole latte brown theme looks like this. I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram. And the color is, let's, let's take a look. So let's just put it on. Ooh, yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a little balmy. I don't know if you can see it. I wanna see if it really lives up to the hype though. Uh, oh, ooh. I like it. Now, I Summer Fridays came out with a lip balm, like mini lip balm set, which was out of stock. I was able to still snag it and it's delayed and delayed and delayed. So I know it's shipped. Now I'm just a little bit worried that it was going to be like lost in delivery. So I was actually going to return this, but I don't know if that lip balm set's gonna come in. And now that I really like it, I probably just have this because this is also in the lip balm set. And I don't know, you can never have too many bombs, right? So anyway, um, that's really it. You can tell that it's, I'm always, like I love the brown tones. So I'm excited to start trying all these in real life, but that's my video. And if you have any questions, let me know. Love you. Talk to you later. Bye.